Yesterday at home, I was shoveling snow during a blizzard at home in Rhode Island. And this morning I woke up on a small Caribbean island in a gorgeous Airbnb with a sea view down the way and, and plants out my window and it's hot. And I, I'm a little bit in disbelief right now. I'm, I'm kind of on cloud nine to be honest. I'm so excited to be here. By the way, hi, I'm Morgan. In this video, I wanna give sort of a comprehensive guide to Charlotte O'Malley, the capital of the US Virgin Islands, so that if you are coming here, you'll know what to expect. Also, I just wanna show off the beautiful place that I was so lucky to spend a whole month at. In my upcoming videos, I'm gonna show you the best beaches of the islands, snorkeling and day trips and different islands and all that sorts of content. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the capital. This city is where most people who come to St. Thomas will stay. St. Thomas was actually never really on my radar of places to travel to, but I want to show you in my whole St. Thomas series why it should be on yours. But first things first, why don't I show you around? Oh, hello there. I didn't see you. This is my living room. Isn't it huge? We've got a big, beautiful kitchen. So I've got a stove, four burners, microwave. We've got a smoothie maker. we got a toaster, everything. Luckily, my Airbnb host left some food here. I am starving. I haven't gone to the store yet, so he's got some bread, some eggs. We also got Caribbean beer, which we'll probably have maybe later. Never mind, I decided to try it now. We have Harrison. Harrison's here. So it's called Carib, Caribbean style lager. Tastes good, actually. I don't really like beer, but this isn't um such a nasty flavor. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> Vamanos to the room. So I've got this huge, beautiful room. There's a bathroom in there. I got a huge walk-in closet. But by far the best part of this Airbnb has to be the roof. The last few years I've been traveling the world as cheaply as possible, mainly through house sitting. But things are a little bit different now. Since the pandemic hit, there aren't that many houses anymore. And I actually have a job online now, so I don't have to be as budget conscious as I was before. I mean, if you are an OG viewer of more travel, please, you'll know that back in the day, even going to McDonald's and staying in hostels was was going a bit over budget, so I'm happy to say that things have changed a bit since then. Going to St. Thomas alone and staying in a nice Airbnb that's pretty much out of my price range, th this whole thing is new to me. And honestly, I was kind of in debt for this month. It's a tiny island and almost everything has to be imported, so the prices are super high. The first example that comes to mind because I am addicted to energy drinks is that one monster was over $3. It's not a cheap place to go travel. But God damn, this island is amazing, so money well spent. Isn't this view just incredible? I'm so lucky. <laughs> you burnt the candle out. Surprise, it got this far. I'm sure we'll sort it out. And through the night, I'll, I'll be the one that, that you rely on. I notice how you are. Let me give you a little tour of my neighborhood. You had to be alone to come this far. But through the night, I'll. I'll be the one that, that you rely on. So right behind me in the pink building is my beautiful Airbnb. And as you walk out of the Airbnb, you can see down the street right to the ocean. It's just so gorgeous. I'm so stoked to be staying here. So in normal non-pandemic times, St. Thomas is actually one of the biggest cruise ship hubs in the Caribbean. However, because I was there in February, 2021, there were no cruise ships and it was something of a ghost town. You can see in the videos, there's like nobody around. It was actually kind of eerie sometimes. A lot of the buildings here feature Danish colonial architecture because Denmark owned the island till 1917 when the US purchased it. So this is a really new US territory. And unfortunately, you can still in some parts see damage from hurricanes Irma and Maria back in 2017. So the waterfront of Charlotte Amelie is right down the street for me. Unfortunately, there's no beaches actually in the city area. You have to kind of go a little bit outside of it. So I can't wait to actually get in this water. What I found really interesting was the pirate history of this capital. So in town, there is Blackbeard's and Bluebeard's castles although the connections to those pirates are not exactly confirmed. But there were a whole bunch of real life pirates there in the late 1600s. Local governors became rich with their loot in exchange for safe haven. Also, apparently Sir Francis Drake, the famous explorer slash pirate spent a lot of time here. And that fact just made me feel so much like Elena from Uncharted. We just recovered what we believe to be the coffin of legendary explorer, Sir Francis Drake. Apparently Francis Drake didn't have any children. Well, history can't be wrong, you know. When filming in the U.S. Virgin Islands, one must always be prepared for rain. You good? You good? 
Okay, let's go. St. Thomas is super tiny. It's only 32 square miles. So in theory, you might think that you'll be able to walk to a lot of places, but outside of the waterfront, the infrastructure doesn't really allow for that. There's not really sidewalks and it's just impossible to walk to a lot of places. So I highly recommend that you take the dollar taxi slash safari buses. These are the local transportation that literally cost a dollar or two, depending how far you go. There's a whole bunch of them and they go on the same eight figure route around the island every single day. I'll put a link to the map in the description. I found them to be super convenient. Do as the locals do and save yourself some money. However, they're not perfect. They stop after sunset and they do not go to everywhere on the island like the most popular beach Megan's Bay they don't go to. So your other choice for transportation is to either rent a vehicle or use the taxi system because Uber and Lyft, etc., do not exist on the island. To be totally honest though, I didn't think that the taxi service was that amazing or reliable even though it was expensive. For example, one time me and a couple people got stranded at a beach because even though we were just a couple miles from downtown, they said that it was too far to send any taxis. Keep in mind this is a 32 square mile island guys. But I did find one really great taxi service on my last day, unfortunately, but it's called Blue Star Taxi. The woman who runs it, her name is Tracy, and she's a total badass, so I can highly recommend her service. So as far as food downtown, I didn't go out to eat a ton because, like I said, it was really expensive, plus I had a full kitchen in my Airbnb. However, I was so thrilled with all the vegan and vegetarian options on the island. It totally shocked me. One of my favorites is Love Livin'. It's a fantastic restaurant with amazing views and a different home-cooked menu every single day. They even host events there, and the owner is super nice. Another Another great one is Isa Vegan. I wish I could have gone there so many more times. Also, Za Rock Pizza Kitchen in Tillet Gardens had the most amazing vegan pizza, but actually Tillet Gardens is definitely a hidden gem on the island. There's tons of different food there. There's bars, tiny independent stores, art, live music. I didn't get any footage there, unfortunately, because when I was there, I was out with new friends. I didn't want to be weird and pull out a camera, but I can highly recommend. Also, don't forget to try out a Bushwhacker, which is the island drink. It was created in St. Thomas. The ingredients were very place to place where I had the ingredients were pina colada mix, ice cream, Kahlua, Rome, Bailey's, and Amaretto. It's super sweet and super delicious. So to be totally honest, there aren't a ton of restaurants downtown, and a lot of the restaurants that are there seem to be sort of geared toward tourists. So I'd suggest even if you're not vegan or vegetarian to check out some of the options I provided because they're off of the beaten path. And you'll get some authentic food from people who really care about what they're doing. Hey, so real quick break from the video. You can feel free to skip if you don't want to see this, but I really wanted to share with you my Desire series styling iron from Duval. They were so nice to send me. Your girl is is matching up with some brands, can you believe it? I just kind of always felt like I'm traveling, why should I invest in new hair stuff? Um, I don't know why, it doesn't even make sense. Like just because I'm traveling doesn't mean I should have bad hair. So I was so excited that they sent this to me. So this has floating tourmaline ceramic plates that glide over your hair to prevent tugging and enables quick styling. The tourmaline coating also locks in hair's moisture and seals the cuticle level to fend off heat damage, which is just what I need in the Caribbean sun. It offers professional level temperature levels that ensure even, precise styling and the adjustable temperature settings go up to 450 for customizable styling for your hair type. I also really like the tangle free cord that's up to eight feet with a cord wrap for when I'm in those Airbnbs where the outlet is too far away from the mirror. So all of my fellow female travelers know how hard it can be to find a good salon when you're on the road for a blowout or a perm. So by using the Desire series styling tools, you don't even need to. And the best part is they won't damage or fry your hair. Your hair will be looking great and feeling even better and you'll save yourself some money. So I definitely do not straighten my whole entire like hair every single day but these little tendrils in front of my face are very important to me so I can stick the rest of it behind my ear and look like a little bit of an elf so you know so yeah I'm definitely not like a hair guru or something but I've been using this for a few weeks now and I can honestly recommend it so shout out to Duval thank you so much for sending me this don't forget to get 70% off some of their products by using my code travel which is down in the description uh, thanks for sitting through this I'm pretty stoked I got to work with a brand how cool is that for this little tiny channel so thanks Duval and uh, yeah let's get back into the video okay so it's Friday night here in the Virgin Islands it's my first Friday here in St. Thomas and there's actually an art installation happening downtown right in Charlotte Amelie Right, right down my street. So let's go check out what's going on. These are moko jumbies. This is an African tradition that dates back centuries and it's been a staple of the U.S. Virgin Islands for the past 200 years. Many 
African tribes believed that Moko Jumbies acted as the spiritual seers and protectors of the village. In St. Thomas, Moko Jumbies make appearances at events and carnivals, not so much to ward off evil spirits anymore, but mostly as a celebration of the culture of the Virgin Islands. This badass woman is my friend Mariah, Pris Mariah on Instagram, give her a follow. You've seen her throughout this video and you'll keep seeing her in the rest of my St. Thomas videos. I'm back and I had such a great time. Oh my gosh, it was so awesome to see all the local artists selling their stuff, their crafts, jewelry, paintings. There's so many talented people here and the dancers were amazing. Those kids are so awesome. I've never seen something like that. So I did do a bit of shopping while I was there. First off, I got this little like mince pie thing that was delicious. It was pineapple filling and homemade. I got this beautiful ring from Benny Bazaar. Okay, so I also got these big dangly earrings. I just thought they were so beautiful. I love big statement earrings. I can't wait to wear these. And the woman who made them, she hand wrapped these herself and painted and everything. All of her jewelry is like that. And her name is Eri or Eri. I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong, but I'll put her social media and everyone's social media who I'm talking about, by the way, on the screen somewhere. So you should definitely follow them. But she had tons of amazing stuff made by herself. I also got these other earrings. These earrings are really special because it comes from the Fireburn collection. And let me explain that. She was inspired by Queen Matilda, Queen Agnes, and Queen Mary who were freed slaves who led the 1878 labor protest known as the Fireburn. Laborers fought for pay raises and changes in the labor laws. Queen, a concept brought from Africa to the Virgin Islands, represented the mother slash woman who was the matriarch of the family and who was noted for her bravery, skills, and intelligence. This collection is created from hand-forged heavy gauge metal which depicts labor and industry. The pearls, shells, and other artifacts represent the queens. I thought that was amazing. So something else I wanted to talk about real quick is just how friendly and nice everybody is here. So obviously I'm here alone on the Virgin Islands and um, the thing is everyone has been so friendly and I don't know just forthcoming with friendship. It kind of feels like <laughs> I mean they're all strangers and maybe I'm just delusional but they treat me and it feels like some sort of big family here. Going to this little event tonight it really made me feel good and very happy that I've, I'm staying on this island. Please hit subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed it because we're gonna have lots of awesome videos coming up. I cannot wait to show you. If you want to support, also we have a Patreon where you can go ahead and donate as little as $1 one time. You know, help support this channel. We have secret vlogs on there and all sorts of different stuff. And also please share this video to Reddit, to Facebook, solo women travel groups, to travel groups in general, people you know who are thinking of travel. Um, let's build a community here. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Bye. Share it, share it for me. I'm, I'm it's, oh. Hello. <laughs> Gorgeous Airbnb with this. I'm pretty stoked with everything I got, and I wish I could, like, get another one of those pies, but I can't. But anyway.